Almighty Father will worship you. You are the Lord that is worthy to be referenced. We magnify you. Thank you for bringing us together in this Monday Bible teaching prayer. Lord, teach us your word and let us apply our heart unto understanding. As we look into these three characters, Absalom, Ziba, and Shimeo, so that our Lord Father, the evil intention that is in them will not be like us or in us, so that Lord Jesus will be able to mortify all the deeds of darkness and evil thought and live, O Lord, to please you only and be friendly and not be fools. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today, we are going to see Second Samuel chapter 15 and then 16. And see three Bible characters. Absalom, uh, Ziba, and Shimel. Absalom, or Ziba, or Shimel. Today, these three people have gang up in one way or the other. You remember Absalom. Let me read even a little about Absalom before we go so that you remember Absalom. Absalom, the son of David. I read from 2 Samuel chapter 15, 1 to 4. And it came to pass after this that Absalom prepared his chariot and horses and 50 men to run before him. And Absalom rose up early. And stood beside the way of the gate and was so. And it was so that when the man that had a controversy came to the king for judgment, Absalom called unto him and said, Of what city art thou? And he said, Thy servant is of, of the city of the tribes of Israel. And Absalom said unto him, See, the matters are good and right. Thy matters are good and right. But there is no man deputed of the kings to hear thee. Absalom said, Moreover, Oh, that I were made judge in the land, that every man which had any, any suit or cause might come unto me, and I would do him justice. Can you see the way, the, the way he, he, a subtle way, this man had evil in his heart? He wanted to overthrow his daddy. Do you remember is the one that actually he has killed his brother. He destroyed his brother. And the father, because he has a forgiveness, has brought him in. Now he's conspiring, plotting, plotting against his father. Then we we'll look at Ziba too. Ziba is a, a well-known person that was a servant in the family of Saul, of Jonathan, a servant that was that Mephibosheth inherited and he was he was he, he, he pretended to be good to Mephibosheth but when chips are down he was actually treasurous then Shimel who actually allowed himself to be used of the devil to accuse the anointed one I pray in the mighty name of Jesus we are going to learn from these three characters Absalom corny and destructive Absalom a plot a, a, a murderer and a, a coup plotter. Then Ziba, actually, somebody who present corny again, very corny and subtle. And eventually, he actually deceived the king to actually defile or defame or to make Mephibosheth to look bad in the face of the king. Then Shimel, who actually stood up and actually started accusing and cursing the anointed one. I pray none of this character evil did will come our way. What do we do? If we don't want this evil character to come our way, let's look at Colossians chapter 3. I read from verse 5 to 11. Mm. Look at Pay attention and open your Bible. God bless in Jesus' name. Now, we know that all these three people, Absalom, Connie, and actually evil intention, the Ziba, actually Connie, evil intention, smell, Actually, want he, he, he actually have, he, he presented his evil intention at the time of the adversity of David. All of them, they are wanting or the other to do with the family of David or 
Somebody has to do with David. I pray evil, evil way, evil mind, evil intention, corrupt mind, um, uh, 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 the, the Adamic nature will not destroy, will not lead us to destruction in Jesus' name. I read from Colossians chapter 3, verse 5 to 11. Mortify therefore your member which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil, evil concupiscence, evil, evil thought, evil life, evil dealing, evil desire, he said, and covetousness, which is idolatry, for which things sake the wrath of God comments on the children of disobedience. If you don't want to actually be part of this, you need to actually put them off and mortify their prey. The grace for God to help us to mortify all the deeds of darkness is going to grant to us in Jesus' name. Three points we want to look at. Number one is Absalom. A zeal for a zeal or sin against David. Number two, the adversity of Ziba or Ziba. The servant, a dismay. Then number three, abusive chest of Simeon as designed. Well, was it designed? Uh, was it designed because David said, "Let it be, if it's of the Lord." I pray the evil design will not be will not be executed through me in Jesus' name. Let's start from number one: Absalom zeal or sin against David. Now, what's the name? The meaning of that name, Absalom, is father of peace. Oh. Father of peace. So this man is father of peace. That the name, and he's actually all his life is lack of peace. He presents himself to actually be peaceful with the children, with the children of Israel. Look at where we read in uh, chapter fifteen, Second Samuel chapter fifteen, one to four, one to four. And it came to pass that after this, that Absalom had prepared his chariot and horses and fifteen to run before him. Absalom rose up early and stood beside the way of the gate, and it was so that when any man that uh, had the controversy came to, to the king for judgment, then Absalom called unto him and said, Of what city art thou? And he said, Thy servant is of one of the tribe of Israel. Can you see cunning, cunning, subtle, and disobedient way? He's actually going against the will of God. He is his father to actually become a judge in the land, to become a counselor, which is not a sign. Don't do what you are not assigned to do. God didn't call you to do that. Don't do it. Don't actually usurp authority. Look at verse 3. And absolutely said unto him, See, thy matter are good and right, and there is no man deputed of the king to hear. Verse 4. Absalom said, Moreover, moreover, oh, that I were made a judge in the land, that every man which had any suit or cause might come unto me, and I will do him justice. Can you see whether you are right or not? I will do you justice. That deception, this man is very deceptive. Absalom is very deceptive. The way he even slaughtered his brother was deceptive. The way he actually caused cause was deceptive. The way he came in back, deceptive. I pray our life will, will not be, will have good name and be behaving badly. Will not have good name and be behaving like a child of, uh, the, child of the devil in Jesus' name. Look at verse 7. And um, and it came to pass after 40 years that Abraham said unto the king, I pray thee, let me go and pay my vow, which I vowed unto the Lord in Hebron. Deception, deceit. Look at verse uh, 12 to 13. And he said, And Absalom sent for Ahitophel, the Gilnite, David's counselor from his city, even from Gilu. Uh, why he offered sacrifice and the conspiracy was conspiracy was strong. I pray it will not be a conspirator. Conspiracy uh, for the people increased continually with Absalom. And there came a messenger to David saying, Thy heart of the men of Israel are after Absalom. Little by little, he took the government away. He took the affection of the people of Israel away from David and he took over. But what I want to say, what was the end of this man? The end of that man. He ended in he ended actually being being caught between the woods and he died. He was destroyed. I pray. Our agitation, our anxiety, our zeal, our lifestyle, our 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 our, our, our evil thought, sinful nature will not hand us in destruction and perdition in Jesus' name. Let's go into point number two. The adversity of Ziba, the servant, is dismayed. You know, Ziba, let's look at chapter 16, verse 1 to 4. 1 to 4. Are you there with me? Second Samuel chapter 16, 1 to 4. And when David was a little past, the top of the hill, behold, Ziba, 
the uh, servant of Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth uh, met him with a couple of uh, horses saddled and upon them 200 uh, loaves of bread and 100 uh, hunches of uh, raisins and 100 of summer fruit and a bottle of wine. And the king said unto Ziba, What meanest thou by this? And Ziba said, The ashes for be for the king's household to rule to ride on and the, uh, and the bread and summer food for the young men to eat and the wine that so, that such as he be faint in the wilderness may, may, may drink and the king said and where is thy master's son and Ziba said unto him king behold he abided at Jerusalem for he said today shall the house of Israel restore me the kingdom of my father then said then said the king unto Ziba, Bio, thine are all that pertain unto, uh, thine are all that pertain unto, may people say it. And Ziba said, I humbly beseech thee that I may find grace in the sight of my Lord, O king. Look at the circumference. Look at the way he did it. He now, he now has, he excluded his uh, leader, he excluded his, uh, his uh, master's son, Mephibosheth, so that he will look bad in the heart of the king. How do you believe? Do you believe like this? I pray God will deliver you in Jesus' name, so that we will not actually use uh, use the wrong way to actually take, uh, to take, um, um, to look for the favor of the king. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name, in your office, wherever you are don't let the devil destroy your life by doing the sea. What's the name? The meaning of the name Ziba. It is army, fight, strength. And then look at that. And he first me. He's the one that first informed David about my people's shape. But eventually, he's the one that wanted to destroy him. But God, in his smart way, did not allow it to come to pass. I pray evil thought of men will not come to pass over you in Jesus' name. Point number three, abusive chest of Simeon as design. You see, design, let's look at uh, chapter 15, 5 to 8, as God will help us in Jesus' name. We're going to pray very soon. And then the Bible says in that verse 5, And when King David came to Berum, behold, then came uh, a man of the family of house of Saul, whose name was Shemel, the son of Gera. And he came forth and caused still as he came. He caused Saul. He caused Paul. Father, he caused David. Will not cause people. Father.